Hey everyone, this is Kala Hale from Destination Thrills, and today I am here to present to you our pick for the top 10 roller coasters in the state of Missouri. The Show Me State is home to three major theme parks. Silver Dollar City, located in Branson, Missouri, which has seven coasters, Worlds of Fun in Kansas City, which also has seven coasters, and Six Flags St. Louis, which is home to the most coasters in the state, with nine. In this video, we will be choosing the best thrill machines Missouri has to offer. Which one will take the number one spot? Find out next. Hey everyone, this is Kala Hale from Destination Thrills, and today I will be presenting to you our pick for the top 10 roller coasters in my home state, Missouri. Now, as I mentioned in the open, Missouri has three major amusement parks that have some quality thrill machines. So it was definitely fun trying to pick out which ones deserve to be in the top 10. Now, one thing the state specializes in is terrain wooden roller coasters. As I was putting this video together, it really hit me that Missouri has so many fantastic wooden roller coasters to offer. In fact, five of our top 10 coasters in the state are all wooden, with many of them racing into the trees, creating some fantastic night rides. As a reminder, this is just our opinion of the top 10 coasters in Missouri. There is no scientific reasoning behind all this. This is just our opinion. So if you disagree, feel free to let us know your top 10 in the comments below. All right, so without any further delay, let's get into our top 10. Starting off at number 10, we have Batman the Ride at Six Flags St. Louis. With a height of 105 feet, top speed of 50 miles per hour, and a track length of 2,693 feet, this ride has a pretty compact layout. Batman the Ride is actually the highest ranked B&M on the list, and here is why. The compact layout allows for the coaster to really maintain its speed throughout the ride. The vertical loops, tight helix, zero G roll, and corkscrews are all really snappy, and the G-forces are very powerful. This is easily the most intense and out of control B&M in the state, and the main reason why it takes the number 10 spot over Wildfire and Patriot. All right, moving on to number nine, we have Mamba at Worlds of Fun. Mamba is the only full circuit hyper coaster in the state with a height of 205 feet. The coaster reaches speeds up to 75 miles per hour, which makes it the fastest coaster in Missouri. It also runs through 5,600 feet of track, which makes it the longest coaster in Missouri. So with all these accolades, why is Mamba all the way down at number nine? Well, the ride does provide some good floater air in the first half, and some good positive forces in the giant helix. However, the mid-course brakes really kill this ride and the final series of airtime hills, from my experience, barely have any pops of airtime. Plus, the pacing is sluggish, really leaving out that out of control sensation you find on other coasters on this list. Now, like I mentioned, the first half is really fun, which is why this coaster makes the top 10, but the sluggish pacing and lackluster second half is why it is at number nine. Moving on to number eight, we have Powder Keg at Silver Dollar City. Built by SNS, this coaster provides a fantastic air powered launch. It has a max height of 110 feet, a top speed of 64 miles per hour, and a track length of 3,506 feet. Powder Keg was the biggest surprise during my first trip to Silver Dollar City. I was not expecting the shove of that launch as you blast up the first drop. Then you have several good moments of airtime and some snappy twists mixed into the layout. There is also a section that uses the former Buzzsaw Falls track, which creates a really wonky experience as you gain a ton of speed over a curved part of track with minimal banking. So you get that out of control sensation as you get some crazy laterals in this moment. Now daytime rides are very good on Powder Keg, but the coaster is even better at night as most of the track is out in the woods so you really have trouble seeing where you are headed. Powder Keg is a must ride during any visit to Silver Dollar City and why it is at our number eight spot. Coming in at number seven, we have American Thunder at Six Flags St. Louis, the first wooden coaster on the list and the last wooden coaster to be added at the park. It has a height of just 82 feet, a top speed of 48 miles per hour, and a track length of 2,713 feet. American Thunder was built by Great Coasters International, which makes some phenomenal wooden roller coasters, and this ride is no exception. You start off with this weird banked first drop, which gives you a concoction of airtime and laterals. 
and from then on, you are racing to the finish, performing some really aggressive maneuvers. What makes this ride so much fun is the speed at which you weave through the structure. There are a couple headchopper moments that will have you ducking from the illusion. American Thunder for a while was my favorite ride in the park, especially when it was butter smooth during its first few years. But the ride has gotten rougher heading into 2020, and other coasters in the park have started to grow on me a bit more, and this is why American Thunder has been placed at number 7. Alright, at number 6 we have another wooden coaster at Six Flags St. Louis, and that is Screamin' Eagle. When the ride opened in 1976, it was the tallest and fastest coaster in the world with a height of 110 feet and a top speed of 62 miles per hour. Now although these records are small compared to the modern coasters we have today, this ride is still a must visit attraction at the park. 10 years ago this coaster wasn't all that exciting to me, and with its roughness there would be some trips that we would avoid it altogether. But in the last few years, Screaming Eagle has become one of my favorite rides in the park, especially at night. Backseat night rides on Screaming Eagle are a wooden coaster lover's dream, with sudden drops in total darkness. Now, Screaming Eagle during the day might drop a few spots on the list, but at night it will rival the best coasters in Missouri, which is why it has earned the number six spot. All right, our number five position belongs to another Six Flags St. Louis coaster, and that is Mr. Freeze Reverse Blast. If you are looking for the most intense steel coaster in Missouri, look no further than Mr. Freeze. From the crazy reverse launch, to the hang time of the top hat, to the seat crushing overbank turn, all the way to the face first plunge from the over 200 foot vertical spike, this coaster will certainly take your breath away. Every single ride has you holding on for dear life. The only knock I have is how short the ride time is. If Mr. Freeze had a full layout, it could easily be number one in the state. And I expect many people to argue in the comments that Mr. Freeze should have a higher ranking. For me, a fulfilling ride duration is an important factor in my rankings, which keeps it from being in the top three. Now in contrast, most coasters that have Mr. Freeze's duration would be much lower on the list, but I think the sheer intensity of this coaster moves Mr. Freeze to number 5. Alright, on to number 4, we head back to Worlds of Fun for Prowler. Prowler, like American Thunder, is another coaster from GCI. The ride has a height of 102.3 feet, a top speed of 51.2 miles per hour, and a track length of 3,074 feet. So why is Prowler much higher than American Thunder? Well, in my opinion, there is one thing that separates the two, and that is Prowler is a terrain wooden coaster. Because the coaster goes out into a remote section of the park, the layout is obscured by trees which can only mean one thing, amazing night rides. Prowler during the day is a pretty solid experience, but nothing too mind-blowing. However, at night, this coaster drags you through the woods relentlessly, throwing you up and down and into the sides of your seat. If you can get past the roughness, you will be addicted to the adrenaline rush you get on Prowler. This is one of those coasters that you run to an hour before close to Marathon. And Prowler has to be the most intense coaster at Worlds of Fun, which is why it is the number one coaster at the park and number four in the state of Missouri. We have made it into the top three, and starting us off, we have The Boss from Six Flags St. Louis. This will probably be the most controversial placement in our top 10 because it is a love it or hate it attraction. Many guests complain of the brutal roughness of the coaster track and the unforgiving lap bars. Now, I would argue that Boss has gotten much smoother and rewritable over the years. Or maybe I'm just numb from all the rides. Either way, I love Boss a lot more than I did just a few years ago. There are three main reasons I think the Boss deserves number three. One, the first half of the coaster has some wicked low to the ground speeds through the structure. With over 100 rides, I still hold on through this section after the first drop. Second, the Boss has a fulfilling ride duration as it races over 4,631 feet of track. And finally, just like many other wooden coasters on the list, the Boss gives you some terrifying pitch black night rides. Yes, you might have to endure some pain along the way, but for me, it is totally worth it. Moving on to number two, we have the best steel coaster in Missouri, Time Traveler at Silver Dollar City. Time Traveler is the newest roller coaster in the state, opening in 2018. And it is by far the most unique ride, not just in Missouri, but the entire world. 
When MacRides unveiled that the world's first ever Mac Extreme Spinner was coming to my home state, I was in shock. It is crazy to think that this new modern technology was going to be tested out so close to home. And when Time Traveler finally opened, it did not disappoint. Two launches, three inversions, airtime hills, and a 100 foot 90 degree drop out of the station sounds crazy already. But then make the cars on the train spin and you have a wild experience. The spin will have you facing in several different directions throughout the ride. So you might hit the launch forwards, the vertical loop backwards, and the zero G roll sideways. The spin factor also guarantees that no two rides will ever be the same. So after all this bragging on Time Traveler, you might be wondering what thrill machine could possibly top this. Well, before Time Traveler, Silver Dollar City added the world's most daring wooden coaster. And that is Outlaw Run, our choice for the number one coaster in the state of Missouri. This wooden coaster has a height of 107 feet, a top speed of 68 miles per hour, and a track length of 2,937 feet. Now, it might not be the tallest or fastest coaster on the list, but Outlaw Run does one element better than every other coaster, and that is provide amazing ejector airtime. Not only are there several hills that provide this form of airtime, but the strength of the negative G-forces cannot be matched by any other coaster on this list. And it's not just the airtime that is great. The transitions are very quick from element to element due to the rapid pacing. Plus the ending double barrel roll finale is hang time heaven. All of these factors alone are good enough to make it number one, but Silver Dollar City took it a step further by having the layout go into the densely wooded Ozark terrain. This means it provides an incredible nighttime journey as you literally cannot see a thing. If there is one coaster in Missouri that will guarantee to wow you, it will be our number one pick for the best coaster in Missouri, Outlaw Run. So this was a lot of fun ranking all of these coasters in my home state. I've been riding these rides for years, so to put them in a top 10 was really fun and kind of difficult. Now, I am positive that people will have their disagreements with our order of best coasters in Missouri, so I encourage you to leave a comment letting us know what your favorite coasters are in the Show Me State. Now, if you enjoy these ranking videos, I have several more on my channel, including the top 10 theme parks every coaster enthusiast must visit in 2020. I will link this video and other ranking videos in the description below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Destination Thrills, the destination for all the latest theme park news and content. Thank you all for watching this video. I am Cullahale. Have a good one.